Hi everybody, Max Emmer here from Emmer Law, and I want to talk about a hot topic, dating during divorce. Should you do it? Max Emmer of Emmer Law says that is a big, fat no. Why is it a no? I'm not puritanical. I'm not some family values, morally perfect person. It's because I want to help you. If you retain me to be your advisor and counselor through your divorce, my job is to shepherd you through calm tensions, and do nothing that will inflame the situation. You dating a new person, rubbing it in your current spouse's face, dare I say introducing the children or anything like that, is only going to make things worse. It's going to stoke resentment and cre create complications. So my advice is take those six to nine months, focus on yourself and your children. I know you might be getting out of an unhappy marriage and you want to see what's out there, and that's great, and that's healthy, and that's normal. But my professional opinion and my professional advice is, wait. Do not do anything that's going to make your divorce worse, harder, more complicated, or more expensive. You will, I promise, appreciate that advice in the long run. If you're already dating someone, my advice, do it quietly, do it discreetly. Do not start meeting people, introducing them to the children, or anything else that is going to piss off anger or infuriate your spouse, who's only going to make the situation worse and more complicated for you. My advice is, wait. You have plenty of time to get out there. Take these 6, 9, 12 months, focus on yourself and your children. Better yourself. Get yourself to a healthy, happy place. And then, please, meet all the fish in the sea. If you have any questions on any family law or other related issues, please reach out and we'd love to help.